Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we will be tackling Likert question 442 titled Find All Duplicates in an Array. We are given an integer array here and our task for today is to return an integer array that represents the duplicated values that is found in this parameter array. The constraint here is that we cannot use any additional space as stated here, right? So that means we cannot use things like dictionary to find the duplicates values and then we just return the values of the dictionary uh, to solve our problem because that violates this uh, additional space requirement here, right? So we cannot use uh, those kind of data structures to help us out to solve this problem, right? So the second thing to note is a big hint and it's key to in solving this problem, right? It states here that the range of the integer inside this nums parameter here is from 1 to n. So what does that tell us? It tells us that every single integer inside this nums array here are positive numbers, right? Because the smallest number is 1 up to n, right? But we don't, we don't have to deal with any negative integer values or anything smaller than 1, right? So that is a very big hint for us and it's key for us to realize that to solve this problem. The strategy that we're going to use is basically we're going to think uh, we're going to find indexes and we're going to convert that particular index uh, value at the index into a negative number. Once we found out those numbers are negative, we just uh, we will have found our duplicates from that formula, right? So I'm just going to jump straight into the code and then we're going to see like how what you will basically give uh, clarity into what I'm, I was trying to say in terms of that strategy that I shared. So uh, for starters, I'm just going to check if nums is empty, return an empty array, right? Because if nums is empty, basically there's no duplicate and we're just returning an empty array. Uh, and in the world of Likert, we probably will not encounter this, but it's just like uh, fast optimization in the real world scenario where we can get an integer uh, array that is empty, right? But unless stated in Likert that uh, we should expect empty array, it's probably not going to happen, but I'm just doing it out of habit uh, for tiny bit performance gain, right? So, um, so right here in Swift, right, this particular parameter here is a constant, right? We cannot manipulate these numbers uh, uh, integer array here, right? So we have to convert it into a uh, variable or else basically we cannot uh, modify it in place, right? So ideally this question should be an in out uh, for us so that we don't, we don't violate this uh, additional space. But just want to clarify like, uh, we are not using any additional data structures. We are just converting it into a variable uh, So because there's no other way to do it in Swift, right? This this is a concept. We cannot manipulate it uh, inside this uh, function scope here. So we convert it to a variable first Now uh, We definitely need a results array that we will be returning uh, This results array contains the duplicated values that is found inside this integer nums array here so let's go ahead and return this first. Now, what we have to do now is to look through the entire nums array. Let's go ahead and do that. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to convert that number at that particular index as an absolute value here. And I'll explain why. So the value nums at i, right? So this one will return us a positive number, right? Because as I said, we, the strategy here is to go through the entire array and convert the numbers at that particular index to be a negative value. So that's why we need to convert it into a positive value, right? So what we're going to do here is if nums at f num minus one less than zero, right? That means it is a negative number. We have found the duplicate. What we have to do here is result append f num. Right, because we we are not returning the negative value, we're returning the real value, right? Which is why we have to convert it into a absolute number to make it into a positive number, right? So here, what we're going to do is nums of f's num minus one times negative one. 
that's how we convert it into a negative one uh, negative integer sorry right so basically that's all the solution uh, that we should need to solve this problem right so let's go ahead and check out what's happening inside this for loop basically at each uh, iteration what we are going to do here is basically we are taking that particular value we minus one to find the index once we get that index we are going to convert it into a negative value right and if we do see a negative number that means we know that we have seen this repeated number somewhere else before right so for example 3 minus 1 is 2 0 1 2 convert it to negative right and then 3 minus 1 is 2 over here again we see that once it is negative we know for sure uh, we've seen that particular number before that's why we go ahead and add uh, the absolute number at that uh, current index right so hopefully that is clear the strategy that we're going to use here today uh, let's go ahead and run this and see if it works there we go let's try and submit this and there we have it that is the solution we solved it uh, again this is just a trick that we have to pay attention uh, because like it told us that this integer array here is all positive numbers so the strategy is to convert the values into negative numbers and once we see in a negative number we know that okay we have definitely seen this number before somewhere else inside this array so we go ahead and add it inside this results array here right so just a small trick to pay attention uh, by this uh, definition here provided in the question right so uh, i hope this video is helpful uh, if you guys find this helpful please feel free to subscribe to this channel i'm trying to grow, grow this channel even further i'll provide more contents from here on now so thank you for your support and bye bye